Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day everyone. So today we are going to create a simple expert system uh, for a chatbot. Okay, we want to create a simple chatbot uh, to communicate with uh, uh, with a person. Alright, so now um, you can actually uh, get the example file. Okay. Uh, in the uh, you can find in the classic uh, there is Eliza implements a classical shrink okay you can just click on that and then it will pop up this alright so uh, Eliza is a is, is a concept where you want to create a chatbot so you need to communicate with the user for example okay so uh, you have the uh, statement given by the user and then uh, we want the system to respond okay we want the system to respond is on the um, statement given by the user so um, here this is a functions where it will uh, initiate eh? Uh, we will check the stimuli or the internal stimuli. Uh, uh, what are the types of internal stimuli that you can do, uh, and then uh, what will be the internal response to be to be uh, to be given by uh, to be given or to be, to communicate with the user. Alright, so next uh, you need to match the internal stimuli with the uh, information given by the user and then you also need to match the response, the internal response from the template and finally you will return the value of the response. Okay, so um, here actually I have uh, updated the some of the response um, compared to the previous work uh, or the previous example uh, where they only consider I am and I am then the system will answer why are you okay if uh, the template asks um, it has a, a, a bread, um, consider a sentence uh, begin with I and you have a, a relationship or a, a statement or a verb in between and then you have another noun here it's another object so if i like you or i like you then the system will answer why do you do love me okay so uh so this is template and i created i add two more okay uh, if the sentence saying that she is hungry, for example, then why is she hungry? So we put a, a exclamation mark, um, a question mark here, right? Okay, so here is a template, a set of template of the stimuli that they can match, and then this is a function where it will match uh, the, the the sentences given by the user. And then uh, it will match with the template. Okay, so first you get the information. Uh, here we create an empty list, and then we try to match. Uh, uh, in this empty list, we create a header. Uh, we get items and the header, items and the header. All right. So we get to match all the item in the header and. And the list of header words. Okay, so it will match uh, the words uh, from the items, and it will uh, construct the word uh, into a series of words. Okay, so it will match items and words. And here it will add new word into the sentence. So we're going to create uh, with the sentence given by the user. So we're going to append um, the statement and adding into the question. 
behind it. So we get the padding here, alright? Uh, once it's padded, it mesh again with the woods and we will respond. Okay, let us start with one question. Let's say I want to have this, okay, Eliza. I am very hungry. Oh, you want to say that I am very pretty. You can change this one to very pretty. So, look at this one. That's fun. Uh, so, the system will respond. Why are you very pretty? Okay. Alright. So, let's say we have another question. Eliza, I love you. Why do you love me? Okay, so you will go to the statement for this, right? Okay, how this happen? You can do the trace function and then you can trace how that this first point will do. So from the single sentence that uh, given by the user, then you will match to the templates get the information of the template and then see which is the most match because I love you so it goes to see the first uh, sentence where um, it uh, consists of the word I okay then we will try and see whether this is match or not okay so it fails because this doesn't fit with the sentence, then it will match to another sentence. So fill, get another template. Okay. And she is also not, um, not um, uh, appropriate. Okay, then we also go for the next one. He is also not appropriate. Then it will match with the I. Okay, I with the uh, with an uh, verb here or uh, some relationship here. You it seems like it match, right? We call the functions. I love it. Match, match. So later you will append this sentence and get this sentence into. But a new sentence, alright. So once it match, so it will create yeah, the functions uh, to match the sentence and append the word uh, append uh, that particular word missing in the sentence, okay, uh, which is love. Okay. Pen it again okay, and find it. It will turn the word me. So when it gets the uh, empty, empty, empty list, alright? Okay, let's start with the last sentence. And finally, we will say that we will wish why do you? Why do you? No. Me, so what is this type of thing? Okay. All right. So next is uh, if you want to create a a graph, right? You want to create a graph. Now, from the sentence that we have this, I love you. To create a graph. Okay. Let's say I take this function. Um, here I create another. You can just use uh, the function three. Where did you get this function three? You can go to the um, rendering, find the rendering, and go to the SVG three. So the, this SVG three, you can see all the functions where you can create the three. Okay. So I I create a sentence where. Um, for example, why do you love me? Okay, then we can we can um, um, we can create a sentence. Um, let me do another sentence first. Right? Uh, he is 
he is intelligent and smart okay so this is a sentence where it um, represent it represents uh, a sentence a sentence so that he is intelligent and smart so you want to see the graph of this sentence so you can just uh, find where is the object okay and this is the connection or the relationship and it is also another object and this is the relationship so you can just create to this aspect and then try and run yes. so you can see that three Eliza is smart right. let's say we remove the word Eliza oh, oops Sorry. Okay, it should pop up the tree. Oh, I think I forget to put the functions in the rendering. Go to the render SVG Unix to declare these functions. Okay, put this in your code. All right, put this in your code. All right, mm, you can put it on top. Okay, for all I we needed, then you can start in ranking. There you go. So you get the three. Eliza, a, he is intelligent and smart. With that, I thank you. So hope you will do for you can do for the next exercise. We will help you for the next exercise. Thank you.